always looking for those old family businesses that have somehow survived in this modern age. Well, next, we'll head to Lexington, Kentucky to visit Shannon Lamps, a family-owned business that's been around since 1956. They make custom lamps and lampshades out of just about anything you can think of. In 1956, uh, Shannon Lamp Service began, and in 2006, we are celebrating our 50th anniversary, and, and this is a milestone that is harder and harder for, uh, for family businesses especially, but small, small businesses because of uh, the loyalty. And we in Central Kentucky have just been so blessed with customer loyalty through the years. Uh, many of our customers who come in now say that they used to come in with their grandmother or their great-grandmother. And uh, we, that's what keeps us here. We, we get that repeat business. We offer custom-made lampshades, custom-made lamps. Uh, custom-made lampshades uh, makes us more unique. There are many stores who, uh, who can do custom lamps out of different objects, but uh, custom shades is something that... Uh, is more of a rarity with custom work you never really know when you come into work in the morning exactly what you're going to do that day there's always uh, some new challenge or something new that that comes along we do make lamps out of anything and uh, we have ready-made uh, many different types of lamps uh, that uh, uh, from the most common items which would be like a, a, a vase or a candlestick uh, to the very uncommon items that we, people would think of as a lamp, such as a, a pair of roller skates that have been made into a lamp, or a minna bucket, a bowling pin, uh, just about anything. That, that really helps when you don't want a lamp like everybody else has that you would buy at a department store or a discount store. You're able to give a lot of personality to, uh, to your home decor with, with a, a lamp that suits your own interests or needs or your hobby. One of our first lamps that we sold on the internet was the bowling pin lamp. We had uh, one that they wanted a mannequin leg, like the Christmas lamp, and we made one or two of them lamps up uh, that a lady did for her son. The hardest part of, of lampshades is actually fitting the lamp with the customer, getting, getting the lamp uh, and getting the customer's ideas of what they want, and then once it gets past that point and we have the order and the customer leaves, then uh, the work actually begins on making that shade from uh, the information that we have received from the customer. We began with a pattern, just like if you were to, to make an article of clothing, you need a pattern to, to make that article of clothing come out to be the right size. Uh, we, since 1972, have accumulated uh, patterns that range uh, somewhere over 2,000 patterns. Uh, the, uh, uh, each one of these patterns we have cataloged and we, we can go to that, to that book and find that pattern. Uh, even with that number of patterns, uh, normally at least two to three times a week we have to make a new pattern. When we started, the way I got my first patterns was, uh, was I went to Kmart and bought some patterns and tore them apart. And after, when David came along, he's got a formula that he can make a pattern by that uh, is pretty true. After that point, the, uh, the shade is seamed together, uh, glued together. Uh, the, that becomes the frame of the shade. Uh, all of our shades are laminated. Uh, this is a vinyl product, and uh, uh, that, becomes, that becomes the frame. Uh, once the, the shade has been uh, glued and dried, then it's taken and, uh, and we need to make the wire rings for top and bottom. Then, uh, then the shade is run through a, a binding machine and this puts the uh, tape edge onto the wires which actually holds the shade together. We have uh, many different types of fabrics as far as uh, design, so we, we normally work with the customer to see whether the shade needs to be formal or whether the shade needs to be casual. We are extremely concerned with the quality of our work. Uh, each shade that we make, whether we're making a large wholesale order, whether we're making a individual shade for a customer, is each done by hand. And, and we really uh, 
you know, quality is what makes uh, what makes us unique, and that's something that we are not that we don't cut corners on because of that. At one time, I had five employees in the policy and cleaning business, but uh, we finally phased it out to family only, and which has worked out and proved to be a whole lot better. When David graduated from high school in 1979, he came into the business full time. And a year or two, he married, and uh, Chris and Amy, Amy came into the business. And then he had a, his baby came into the business. So what we did, we set up a nursery in the back of the, of the room that we're in now. And this is where the children came. They didn't have to pay babysitters, and it worked out pretty nice that way. Family business is, uh, uh, works well when families get along, and we always have, so that uh, many family businesses suffer because of strife in the family, but uh, uh, growing up in a Christian home, growing up with family, uh, parents who, who, are, who care, you know, it makes it a lot easier. In starting a business of your own, it's not a nine to five. It's from <laughs> six in the morning sometimes till two in the morning. <laughs> sometimes when I was in the Quantas and Hut on on Seventh Street, uh, it, it was day to day to polish it and deliver it and to get money enough to keep your family going. If you come up and want to be self-employed and start a business. You have to have goals. And if you have a goal set, you have to keep working toward it. I had a friend in Lexington one time told me that, that his goal is to learn something new every day. And in business, when you're operating a business, if you can't try to do that, then you're going to be stale and you're not going to you're not going to improve. One of the more memorable experiences for the folks at Shannon Lamps was the day the set designer from the movie Dreamer stopped by and bought several props for the movie. Well, you know, I get a 